Hey there ladies and gentlemen, Crispy and Merc here, and today I'm bringing you some more Battlefield 4 beta PC gameplay. And last time I posted gameplay, um, the game, uh, well the beta just came out and, what was it, uh, I did not have any beta drivers installed for Battlefield 4, so it was pretty much playing with no drivers and no optimization at all, and I was getting a lot of drop frames and it was freezing a lot. Since then, however, there have been two patches, and I did download the beta drivers for uh, NVIDIA. And the game runs a hell of a lot smoother. It probably never dips lower than 38 FPS. And a little bit about the settings that you're going to be seeing right here. I changed some of these settings around and all that jazz just to get a little bit better performance. Also, I have my field of view set to 90, but very later on in this video, I actually set it all the way up to 120, and my frames are still okay. And uh, I generally get about probably 45, 50 ish frames. Every now and then, dips down to about 38. It never goes below 30 anymore. So, the game is very much playable now on NVIDIA platforms. I am currently using a Gigabyte WinForce GTX 670 with 2 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. Now, I am only playing this game at 1080p, so even though the system requirements say you should have a 3, giga 3 gigabyte card to play this game, if you're only going to be playing about 720 or 1080p, 2 gigabytes of GDR5 is plenty. The only time you're going to want to need more video memory is if you are going to be playing the game at higher resolutions such as um, you know, 1440p or 1600, something like that. But that's not going to be the case, so at least not for me. And yeah. So a little bit about the gameplay. I play with a little bit of everything, mostly engineer, and I don't do so great. I'm still having a hard time adjusting to the snipers. I don't know what it is, but it feels like to me they reworked the bullet drop mechanic. I'm not, I'm pretty sure bullet drop is still in the game. However, whenever I try to, I guess I'm not aiming right. The bullet drop is not like how it is in Battlefield 3. If there's bullet drop, there's less of a bullet drop over distance, but to me, from my feeling and my experience, it, the bullet seems to go perfectly straight. That's just me though, like I could be aiming at a guy across to the bay and I will put him dead center right in the cross and he would hit him straight on. And it looks like it's going straight to me because now there's a smoke trail when you shoot your weapon, but every time I try to at least adjust my shot for the elevation or the distance and all that, it always seems like it either overshot ridiculously or undershot ridiculously and the only time it ever seems to go even remotely precisely where I'm a where I want it to go is if I aim them straight at the middle straight at the, the cross on the, the sniper rifle so I don't I don't really I don't really know what's going on with the mechanic or not I, it seems like it's probably probably they're gonna add more of a bullet drop after the beta or something or it's probably just me I, I don't know but I feel like in Battlefield 3 that the bullet drop is much steeper and it, there's less of or next to no bullet drop here in, in Battlefield 4 beta now it could be something like what they did in Battlefield 3 beta because I believe when the beta first came out or at least the alpha code for Battlefield 3 that there was actually no bullet drop for the the recon class at least if I remember correctly I could be pulling that out of my asshole who knows but yeah as of this moment I can't really use a sniper rifle in this game I might get a couple good shots here and there but other than that uh, whatever engineering class uh, the engineering class yeah is um, much better in my opinion um, I do like the carbines associated with the with the class and the RPGs are phenomenal. I do like how you can instantly, you know, like lock on to targets if your scout classes, recon classes, are using their la laser designators, which in the beta they are. Mo mostly everybody that is a scout, uh, pff, scout recon, is using their laser designator, which is what they should do. 
and when that happens, you shoot an RPG and, at a helicopter, it pretty much takes it out in one hit, which I think is how it should be. It should take one RPG to knock out a freaking helicopter. And, um, let me see here. What else? Tanks? Tanks are still tanks. They take multiple RPGs to take down. Uh, you can laser designate them and have your RPGs, you know, pretty much home in on the laser. And, yeah, depending where you hit the tank, you know, you'll do more damage, less damage. The, the benefit now is, is that you actually get points now for at least damaging vehicles. Before, you would only get points when you disable and destroy. Now you get points when you damage vehicles as well, so... Even if you don't end up getting the disable or or the destroy, somebody else ends up stealing it. At least you got something for contributing to the overall damage of the vehicle or something like that. Also, swimming is a lot. I don't, I don't know, I don't remember swimming in Battlefield 3 all that much, really, but swimming seems to be a whole lot better in this game. And vehicles, as in probably the naval stuff, the boats and all that, I haven't really spent that much time on the boats. And yeah, I can't really think of anything else to talk to except for the occasional connection issue where it seems like I can't exactly kill anybody. I'd be, uh, I know I don't have the greatest aim in the world, in fact my aim is pretty piss poor, but when I definitely know I'm hitting somebody and I'm getting hit indicators and I hit them for a good 5 second spray and they don't die and I die in an instant, and it comes up and says they still have 10 hit points left. I, I'm, I know that's freaking BS, because I clearly saw them first, and I'm shooting at them. But you know, that should just be lag on my part. My internet, where I'm at, is not really great, so it's not something I'd really blame on, you know, the actual game or anything like that. Uh, because Dice has pretty much cleared up most of the issues with Battlefield 4, at least in the beta. I, like I mentioned when it first came out, it was atrocious. I could play the game on pretty much high settings, and um, you know I would get anywhere between 40 to 15 FPS, and that was an epic fail right there. And but yeah, now that I've downloaded the beta drivers, installed the two patches, everything seems to work fine. I can play on print on custom settings. Pretty much everything set to ultra, with field of view set to 120. I think the only thing that's set to medium, I think, is texture quality. I haven't tried bumping that up to ultra yet, but everything else is pretty much on ultra with four times MSA and you know field of view set all the way up to 120. I know in this footage you're seeing right now, it's only set to 90, but really late towards the end, I do actually set it all the way up to 120 because I actually end up trying to snipe as a recon up on top of this really tall ass building on one of these really tall ass buildings I'm gonna try and snipe and I wanted to bump the field of view up because uh, I, I needed to be able to see a little bit further or whatever so yeah um, overall the game is alright it is it is a lot of fun once it actually starts to work and it doesn't want to crash doesn't want to you know choke up and lose frames and all that crap but it is pretty fun however if you've played Battlefield 3 you're not really missing anything if you don't pick this title up the game does look nicer but not that much nicer if you play Battlefield 3 on ultra settings at 1080p 60 FPS on PC you know it, it, it all pretty much looks the same the, the graphical user interface is a little bit better in this game I kind of like the the menus and I just like the interface a lot better in Battlefield 4. It looks cleaner to me and it's it seems streamlined. It, it responds a lot faster and I, I don't know, that's just me. But yeah. Ba uh, Battlefield 4 is a lot of people probably not going to like that I say it's pretty much Battlefield 3, but it is what it is. I mean, you're if you're going to be playing Battlefield, you know, you play Battlefield. Battlefield 4, of course, it's going to be like Battlefield 3, and, you know, don't don't expect it to be anything else. So. But, yeah, have, uh, having a good time, especially now that the game works a hell of a lot better. Um, 
What other... Oh, yeah, I have not talked about the support class all that much. I, I do use the support for a very brief time in this. Uh, and it's an alright class. I haven't really unlocked much of anything, as most of you probably tell. I'm using a lot of the default kits that are already in there. The only thing I pretty much unlocked was for the engineer, I unlocked the compensator for the default weapon. So, yeah. Um, I think that's all I wanted to say. I don't really have anything else to talk about. If uh, anybody's got any questions about my configurations for my gaming PC, those are actually going to be in the description of this video and many of my other videos. If you watch my other Battlefield 3 videos or whatever, you can see those. Um, I did mention the graphics card I'm using, GTX 670. CPU is a Intel Core i5 Ivy Bridge 3570K and it's overclocked to 4.2 gigahertz. Now mind you, the beta before the drivers and the patches that the beta is very CPU resource heavy and I don't know how it is now. I haven't gone back and checked my res uh, my CPU usage since installing the two patches and the beta drivers but before the beta drivers and the patches it was actually using 100% of my CPU all the time and it was ridiculous it should not be that cpu heavy hence the reason why losing a lot of frames everything kept dropping down to 15 fps it was using too much cpu not enough of the gpu but it seems the patches and the beta drivers have uh, resolved that issue for now and of course you can always optimize it a little bit more when the full version of the game eventually does come out with proper drivers and a couple more patches my GTX 670 should be able to push about probably the same amount of frames I get in Battlefield 3 on Ultra, which is about anywhere between 70 to 90 FPS at any given time. So, those of you that are using a GTX 670, probably even a GTX 660 or 660 Ti, I think there's a 660 Ti, I don't even know. Using a, a card like that, or if it's equivalent, or 7870 or 7850 should be able to get a good amount of frames with this game at 1080p um, probably on high or all, uh, on high settings just to be safe you could probably bump it up to ultra and probably still get you know a decent amount of frames probably not 60 maybe somewhere in the 30s who knows where optimization is going to be when this game finally comes out but uh, I'm fairly confident once the game optimizes that everybody should be able to get a decent amount of frames for whatever you're playing on, especially if you're only playing on 720 or 1080p. You're not going to be needing a GTX 780 or 680 or a Titan or any of that crap. A lot of people have this misconception that because the game is being showed off using uh, Crossfire 7970 gigahertz editions or I think at one point they actually even showed off with a couple of 7990s and uh, that you're going to need a beefy ass card like that to play this game on ultra settings or anything like that. Now that, that's not really the case. Uh, only You only need those kind of cards if it, you're going to be rendering this game on multiple monitors uh, 1440, 1440p or higher and you're going to need all those extra video memory to handle, you know, the higher resolution and all that. But, you know, if you're going to be gaming on a single monitor, 1080p, you don't need anything like that. That's, uh, you, you'll be fine with a good $200 to $300 card. So you, you don't need to go out there and spend $1,000 to play this game on Ultra. At least I don't believe so. So Now, I've pretty much been rambling about the same damn thing over and over again for the last, like, three minutes. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut the video here. And, uh, well, I'm not going to cut the video. I'm going to cut the commentary here and let the video roll on for the next 10 to 15 minutes. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody.
Scout control objective Alpha. Eyes on the hostile tank just west of your location. Oh, 